What's up guys, LaCoffee Bandit back here. Uh, remember that one time where I said I was gonna LP this game? <laughs> mm. Yeah, so that's a thing. Sorry I kind of like disappeared for two weeks with this game. I really wanted to make this Let's Play like really consistent and awesome because it's such an awesome game. Uh, but I sort of had finals week for college, and then I graduated college. Lots of crazy stuff went on, and then I wanted to get those Sly Master Thief Sprint videos out of the way, so... I was I was a bit busy, and I apologize for that, but uh, from now on, we're going to really focus on this game. Um, and yeah, alright, so last time I was saying, um... We're going to be going to my favorite place ever, Grass Town! I, I, I realize that I only... I, I really love the enemies and the music, but it, I mean... Uh, you'll see. All right, connected to Grass Town. So if any of you have remember any fucking clue what happened last time on this game, um, I don't even remember. Yep, I have no idea what's going on. Japanese bunnies or something. Um, <laughs> no, obviously I know what's going on. Egg corridor, and now we can choose between the second level, which is Grass Town. Brace yourself for this music. Brace yourself. <coughs> that hurt my throat. Why did that not work? Oh, my throat. Do you want to go to Grass Town? Yes. Yes, I do. And now we may we please take a moment for this music. Okay, right now it sounds kind of dinky, but it gets, I, I swear, I swear it gets better. It sounds like so Kirby-ish to me, but like even better than Kirby. Um, <laughs> I just love this song, I don't know why. Uh, there's a part later on where there's like this really cool bass line and this, this dance beat right now. Hell yeah. I'm bobbing in my swivel chair right now. I look like a... Loser! Alright, who are you? Hello, my name is Sa Santa! I know him! Was he off drawing some... I was off drawing some water when I suddenly got attacked by monsters. I got, I got away and ran back home, but somehow along the way, I dropped my key. I'm locked out of my own house. I've been there before, Santa. Mmm. Sorry, I'm drinking lots of water. Oh. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. I, I, I just need to listen. I'm so sorry. I'm stopping to listen. Here it comes. All right. This would be the best time to have face cam right now because I'm like playing air bass. All right, that was really lame. Um, <laughs> as someone who plays bass and guitar, I just I I appreciate that bass line a lot. It's 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 funky. It's kind of disco, funky, dancey. I don't know. Here's our good friend Cthulhu. Oh ho. A soldier from the surface. I thought the war was over already. Well, whatever. If you're gonna go on ahead, watch out for those power critters. When they land on you, it hurts. So, uh, he revealed a little bit more. He said something about a war. Um, and power critters. The critters. Wicked little critter. So, that's Santa's house. So, let us go into Grass Town. And these are the critters. As you notice, they now fly. Like... Tails, miles per hour, and then there's the fat mother ones. Yeah, <laughs> which can sometimes be a little overwhelming. And we have keys in this game apparently. And along with the keys, we have a key. Z Got Santa's key. Yeah. All right, that that's good. That's good. Thank you. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm sailing away. Mm. My, is anybody else's allergies freaking killing them this season? Oh my god. Since it started getting so hot here in New York, just my allergies have... Ugh. I'm dying, man. Oh, that's the key to my house. Handed over Santa's key. I don't know why he has a southern accent. A really poor southern accent. Come inside. I've got a nice reward for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I didn't even mean to say ho, ho. Okay. Santa's house. Well, I guess we should heal and save. Sure, why not? What does this say? 
Watch out, death trap to your left. One touch means instant death. Why would you have a death trap inside your house? Thanks, you really saved me there. Here, you can have this. You got the fireball! So we got our second weapon of the game, the fireball. I must resist doing that. You're looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone else around here. If you want to go searching farther in, you'll have to pass through the fireplace in Chaco's house. Chaco Taco. Alright, so we got a new weapon. Do you want to rest? Sure, why not? Even though I just healed. Doesn't really matter. Health restored. Beautiful. Alright, thanks Santa. We will be coming back to Santa a little bit later, but um... So here's the fire, fire ball. I'm not a huge fan of this. It's it's good for certain enemies, but I think the limit is like two balls on on the screen. So you really, it's like I don't know. You can't like spam it. It's kind of like eh. It's good for like grounded enemies, and it's good for distant attacks. But I much prefer the polar star myself. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, okay, so now we're just gonna battle our way through the giant masses of critters. Dem critters, man. Ooh, don't get landed on. Please don't get landed on. And... Uh, give me a second. Stress. Stress. Oh, as you can see up there, there is another hard piece. A secret passage. I have been... I, I must I must say... I know... I, I was meant... Bleh, English. Speak English, La Coffee Bandit. Um, God dang it. I can do this. I swear. I can do this. Is that how you is that how you do it? Is that even how you do it? I don't think it Oh, I'm an idiot. I meant to say this in my Zelda LP, but uh because it would be more topical, but um I am currently watching a Zelda 1 playthrough of <clears throat> by HC Bailey. Some of you may know him. Um He's kind of famous, I don't know. But uh I don't know. I I've I've just been really enjoying that lately. It's been making me want to pick up that game again, even though... I mean, I, I've beaten that game a number of times, but... I've... I've uh, some of the older Zeldas... All, I mean, the, the two NES Zeldas are undoubtedly very... Can be very frustrating sometimes, so yeah. But I do have a place in my heart for both of them. The first one more so than the second one, but... Okay. Uh, so much water. Hello, Chaco. Look at look at her cute little eyes. Hello there. Goodness, that's a dangerous item you got there. Are you a traveler? Yes. Yes, I am. And we'll save again because why the hell not? <coughs> um. So currently, beyond the flickering flames, you spy a hole. The flames are in the way and you can't get past. What? Oh, you'd like to go through my fireplace? What is this, Harry Potter? You'll need the jellyfish juice you can get from the jellies. Jellyfishing, jellyfishing, thank you. Alright, so here's a little Easter egg. Kind of a hidden thing. Do you want to rest? Let's take a nap. Health restored. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Chaco's lipstick. <laughs> Hell yeah! Alright, so that's a, maybe b a borderline a little creepy, but uh, we slept with Chaco. Trug. Alright, so we need to get, um, here's the jellies. Why they weren't there before, I don't know. Plot device. But, um, <clears throat> we need to get some jellyfish juice. Some jellyfish jelly. I swear to God, the other night, I live, fun fact, I live above a, uh, a, a Mexican restaurant in New York. A really good Mexican restaurant, by the way, so if you ever visit, come visit the Mexican restaurant beneath me. Uh, <laughs> but they, like, l l late at night when they're cleaning up around, like, 11 o'clock or so, they kind of, they, like, blast music and it, like, vibrates my floors and it's, like, really loud, but, I mean, I'm always up at that time anyway, so it really doesn't bother me at all. I kind of find it kind of... It's, it's kind of fun, kind of endearing, I don't know. It's a fun little thing to listen to. Um, but I swear, the other night, they were playing like that techno song that the jellyfish played at Spongebob's house in that one episode. You know what I'm talking about. 
You know exactly what I'm talking about. I could have sworn it was that song, and I was like, either the Mexican restaurant beneath me just became like 25 times cooler, or I'm just imagining things. <sighs> Alas, it probably wasn't that song, but who knows. So as you can see, there is, ow, someone hiding up here. Um, the mother jelly, if you will. Um, oh, look at her eyes. Damn eyes. And she's dead. Open the treasure chest. Got the jellyfish juice. Uh -huh. Alright, so you're gonna be saying, the coffee bandit, go back to Chaco's house, advance the plot, god damn it. You haven't been you haven't released an episode of this stupid LP for like four months. And I say to you, viewer, no. I must unlock something else. Okay, wow, those are some creepy owl things. Owl stones. This is a Majora's mask, man. Alright, Santa's house. I should probably heal. For the fuck of it. Um, I'm going to try and keep this, these episodes maybe a little bit on the longer side. Not like 20 minutes, but like a, more than 15 minutes. Just so we can like make substantial progress. I don't know. Alright, so. Do you want to use the jellyfish juice? Yes, ma'am. You find something in the ashes. You got the charcoal. This will be very important later on. Uh, but, you know, why not just get it now? I mean... It's it's close. It's it, it's it's a much shorter trip to do it right now rather than later on in this level where you'll see. Uh, it's actually a pretty big place. Um, it's it's pretty linear. Um, you know, if I had to make complaints about this level, it's pretty linear. And if you don't get the charcoal at that point, like that is a huge moment of backtracking. I mean, you literally have to go back to the beginning of the level, which is uh, kind of annoying. Um, this game does have. A little bit of backtracking, as you've already noticed. Um, I've never been too bothered by it, just because I'm so, well, as you can tell, so enamored by every single thing in this game, so... Ugh, okay. <clears throat> okay. And we have to kill a Dejeli again. <sighs> as much as it pains me to slay her. And we get some more jellyfish juice to use on Chaco's buy a place. So let's venture back there, whatever. We have almost max leveled weapons. I should I should level up the fireball. Um because you know how I said like uh oh, well it only allows like two balls on the screen. I actually think there you can do more than that. <clears throat> I'm just an amateur. It's also just a weapon that I don't use very often so I can't remember the exact abilities of each level. Sue me! But really, don't sue me. I, I don't have any money. Oh, dose. Oh, ah. Can we get to level two? Yay, level two. What's the difference? Three! Oh! So I'm guessing <clears throat> the next level is like four or something. All right. Back in Chaco's house. Hey, baby. I should probably save just in case. I'm, I hope not to die, but you never, you never really know with me. You never know. God, it's so weird doing live commentary, and I've been so used to that dead post commentary. Do I use the jellyfish juice? Yeah. And we came out the other side. Sweet deal. Alrighty, so finally we can move on to the next part of Grass Town. Although it does not look like much of a town to me. Mm, that jump, that that jump, man, that jump hurts. Makes me cringe. Uh, I forget what these ghost guys are, but I I uh, I really love their design. I don't know. I really love just like the way they look and what they do. They shoot those little. Pff, you're supposed to dodge that. They shoot those little things out, and then <laughs> when you kill them, they look like that. I don't know. It's it's cool. Okay, this game's cool. Take my word for it. Damn it. I also love I love the frogs in this level too. I love this game, okay? Don't knock it till you try it. I should really be upgrading the fireball right now. Try and get it up to three. Because why not? Um, I suppose the fireballs are kind of good for these guys. 
because they can like roll up hills and stuff. Um, it won't open. Hey, listen. You spy someone through the crack. Hey, over here. You look like a nice young man. Could you help me out? I'd really like to get out of here. Ah, uh, sure. Thank you. Take this. Receive the rust, <coughs> rusty key. I found this on the floor. Go unlock the door with it, will you? There's no keyhole. The door must be rusted shut. God damn it, man. What? It's not the key to this room? Well, that's just great. If there's no keyhole, then we'll just have to break the door down. Like, Sorry, key keyhole reminded me of Kingdom Hearts. Now, how would we do that? Man, I love this. A motorbike, maybe. I love th that pink motorbike. is pretty fucking sweet. Pretty fucking sweet, man. It's fucking sweet. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. Let's kill everything. Uh, can we go in here yet? We can't, yeah, we actually can. The Execution Chamber. Great. That's that's a real great name. Uh, so how... Sorry, I'm just trying to remember exactly how to do this. Uh, it's that. Yeah, and these, these those guys one hit, one hit kill you. Which is a bundle of... Fuck, I messed it up, didn't I? Yes, I did. God dang it. <clears throat> We're almost at the end of the episode here. Anyways, so... I think I'm just gonna get this heart piece and then probably call it a day. So, wait. Uh, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. So, oh my god. You know me in puzzles! <laughs> yes, puzzles that involve two blocks. Very difficult for me. Too difficult. Alright, well there we go. Got another life capsule. I'm gonna be trying to get. I'm. I'm I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be like 100%ing this game. I guess I. I suppose I will be, but I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be trying to basically. And now we have 20 something health. Whatever. Kill the eyeball. And with that. Ugh. Shit. Get away from me. Thank you. Uh, next time on Let's Play Cave Story, we will. Uh, explore further into Grass Town and, ho and uh, help whoever the hell that is in that building get out of there. Yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and it feels good to be uh, back on this LP. Yes. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye.